Hello and uh, welcome. So today I will be trying and experiment, trying experimenting with the palette knife for the first time ever in my life. And uh, yeah, I got this uh, the idea for to try this out from my st uh, cousin, and uh, it will be my very first time. So <laughs> enjoy seeing me struggle through the process of creating an uh, illustration or piece. It's probably going to be abstract. Not looking forward to that, but yeah, hey, it's experiment time. Um, so right now on your screen, you can see the me researching the ideas and pinning some of the stuff on my on the Pinterest board, and uh, you can find me on the A Sof Sofia. And th there is a lot of stuff, and I think I've settled down on the some mushroom idea because i really love mushrooms and uh, i find them fascinating and they are relatively easy to draw especially in abstract so i think that's what i settled in and um, i also thought that i will limit myself to a color palette so i chose a color palette of six colors and um, i will be using that throughout the whole process so guys enjoy me struggle with the palette knife for the first time and thank you yeah anyway so i thought of myself i'm trying to draw with these the palette knives anyhow so i got the palette knives and watched a little tutorial on how actually to do them and uh well let's just hope for the best because well, that's what we're gonna need. Well, I will need. So first up is uh, we're gonna need some sketching of the ideas. Well, technically I did the ideas, the research before this. So we're just gonna apply those ideas into the real world. And let's just try and see what I actually get from this. Okay, so I've, I have established actually a color palette and I will try to do my best to actually follow it, but I'm gonna keep my options free and just explore because this is actually my first time trying the palette knife. So I just wanna have like a starting position of knowing what colors I wanna do. So as uh, you have seen, I did some research. Well, I actually settled with the kind of fairy style sort of um, idea. And um, I'm just gonna do like quick sketches right now to see the composition and what I actually wanted to do. Actually, I did like a really quick artist research on the technique to do that you can do with a palette knife. And I actually quite like it. So I'm try I will try to incorporate it into the final piece so this is the small thing that I will draw on small canvas knife oh let me in Russian because that's where I am right now so let's start drawing Actually, the first thing that I did is just a very, very quick and rough sketch of something that I really wanted to do that was in my head for a long time. Well, for the time that I was researching. And it's kind of like the concept of uh, having a mushroom, just like simple, because this is the piece is actually very small. And uh, I'm not very experienced with the palette knives. I have never taken them and drawn with them in my life. Uh, what I did was uh, the idea that I had while scrolling through all of this is that um, I would have a mushroom over here and uh, sort of like a fairy or some creature or a glow that I'm gonna do in the kind of inspired by the artist style which is gonna be blurry and not really noticeable it's just gonna be like the color blobs and just gonna be there so I'm just gonna sit down and do a more of actual concept sketches which are more in depth and uh, more thought of throughout.
Okay, well, so, um, I'm still doing a little bit of sketching and uh, drawing off the reference. I actually settled down on uh, this idea. Um, because, you know, I, I think it's simple enough and uh, you can actually do a lot with it kind of thing. So you wouldn't be able to actually probably see the person inside. It's just gonna, just gonna be glowy. So yeah, I guess it is time to move on onto the next stage with these little thingies over here. Why are they also... Okay, so the first part of, well, the first thing you probably need to start drawing with the uh, palette knife is uh, baits, probably. Most people use acrylics or oils or gouache. I'm not sure about gouache though. But yeah, um, I got the acrylics and uh, just found the ones that I had at home. And you also would need like um, a palette, which also have like two types of palettes. This one is just brand new that I got a while ago for something else. But I'm just gonna use it. I got the sketch right here and uh, apologies for this because this is just gonna be uh, here because otherwise the, the thing is shiny so it's just a block and uh, well the palette knives actually I hit three of them but I don't remember where the other one le went so I'm just gonna have the two of these the small one which is like here and the other one which is like the square one I'm gonna eat Anyway, and this is the second palette. It's just the old one that I'm probably gonna use. My sister uses a lot for her thing. Yeah, just and the colors that I have. Well, my sister has is just the normal primary colors. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna start with the uh, simple sketch, and then I'll just figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with my life. Well. With the life of this piece. Let's get going. now I have mixed all the colors that I needed which I start drawing back first the background just open this for a sec yes. huh, I'm so scared what is this how does this thing work bro I'm scared I have a feeling I would have to wait until the bottom part gets dried what is this go away I don't want you Bro, this is not looking nice. It's too shiny. Oh, the freaking light is over here. <clears throat> okay, I really apologize for this, guys. But I had to change out the camera position because the light, the light was reflecting off the paint and it was making it too luminous and too shiny. Uh, so apologies for that. I probably need to side this so that I don't get a lot of light it doesn't get too light so yeah okay, this is weird this is actually very weird painting like this also kind of painting with the 
with acrylics. I haven't painted with acrylics in a while. I've been like more into coming back into watercolors and the uh, gouache and also the say and uh, the Russian paint, which is called tempera. I'm not sure how to pronounce it either. It's kind of like gouache, but it's a uh, a bit. It was taken from the uh, uh, not acrylic from the oil paints, and um, so yeah, I think it's the best of the two worlds. It lasts for freaking ever. It it dries very quickly and it doesn't like it doesn't mix very well. So you can see all the streaks like in gouache. Or well, I mean gouache gouache does mix, but occasionally. Oh hello! No idea what I'm doing. This is. This is actually very nice because you can cover the whole, a very big space. Anyway, so this part is going to be shiny, so it's going to be the most, the lightest color that I have. So I need to figure out where the light is coming from. So the light comes from here and it's kind of blue so I guess the blue part should be here. I guess the light part should go after everything else. You should start with the darkest. You should probably do the mushrooms one color so probably should do them this and that color and the coral that I got here. But I am not so sure. Let me dry to some point to some part and bit whatever you call that and uh, during which I have decided that the girl well it's not quite dry but anyway the girl is gonna be the lightest so I'm gonna use the that color over there for the girl and I'm gonna try to use the small strokes just to try small but hey with the hands coming like this well I guess I'm just gonna have to go with white as well at some point um let's just put the strokes of this over here so that it's like well I guess this is like a very very weird rough painting and it's I don't know, it's just kind of, it's weird. I kind of like it. I kind of like the color. So while it was drying, I kind of looked at it and um, it does create this like nice texture, nice colors. You do get like a very lot of white space. So like here and there, 
but other than that it's kind of very cool and I guess you you can't really work on the small space with this but that was my mistake I did think of having of grabbing a bigger canvas but getting scared at first it's okay we learn we're artists we can learn we always do and uh, I guess I need to acquaintance myself more with the rules of using a palette knife because currently it's not very well my knowledge is not very it's quite limited yeah and it's gonna be very abstract like I don't remember I've never did anything abstract in my life yeah I can't remember, I can't recall a single thing that I did that was abstract to this point And I still, it's still kind of weird. It's weird doing abstract. Put something in here. I feel like it's the colors that you don't really understand. Well, they're kind of like they're not complementary. They're almost complement. Okay, the blue and the red. Although we don't really have them in their pure form, they are complementary. pieces that I have uh, created this one with a water brush water brush just a brush and this one with the palette knife so you can see the thing just everything stayed the same it's just a different approach I mean the mushrooms here are kind of bigger than there but still there are certain things I like about the two of them which I would really want to combine so I really like the top part let's just see up close Oh, hello, where is the camera? So this one is the just done with the brush. And as you can see, there's more variation in there in the lines. So like here, let's just put this with this. So like here, because you just, the brush just mixes it up more than the palette knife. So I had to like dry it out twice 
before before like before the finished thing because um, the black was mixing into the like the actual color that was put on top of it um which is kind of an, a disadvantage because the palette knife didn't do that but still hey we can always use a darker color not always but we can we, we can still use it anyway and um so this is actually the way i wanted to see the well the glow thingy kind of and uh, it's a very abstract drawing it's not meant to be kind of like realistic or anything though you probably can tell that this is mushrooms i kind of don't like the composition that happened over here because it's just kind of like it's very straight and it bothers me but on the brighter things that i wanted this kind of like a halo or like um nobody knows what the hell is happening in here because it goes from the very light which is the white which is like the face is supposed to be obviously not very recognizable the face and the hands and it goes out into the kind of like the wings or the hair or whatever um and then there are the mushrooms which are here the thing i like um i like this in terms of mushrooms more because they have more texture to them they feel more alive so maybe if i can combine so like just cut this half take this and then take the other half from here that would be nice but i do really really like the texture yeah so here you have seen me create something with a palette knife for the first time ever in my life and uh I have I personally can say that I really really love the texture and appreciate the texture a lot but the color and the way how you put the colors on it is still a bit weird for me and I will want to explore this further maybe on a bigger piece and uh, do something else with it um, so thank you and I hope you did create something along with me struggling with a palette knife. Thank you and hope to see you guys again soon.